Why couldn't US subs dive as deep as Russia's? Well, it really boils down to two things, the metal and the mission. The US Navy stuck with strong steel, but the Soviets bet on titanium alloys for key subs like the Alpha and Sierra classes. Titanium is lighter, but incredibly strong, allowing Soviet hulls to handle immense crushing pressure and hit depths over 3,300 feet. That's seriously deep. The US Navy made a deliberate choice, a really smart one, to prioritize being quiet over being the deepest. Their thinking was simple. The sub you can't hear is the one that wins the fight. Instead of spending on exotic metals just for depth, the US invested everything in quieter tech, like rafted machinery and advanced pump jets. They figured stealth was superior to an extra 200 feet of depth, but titanium wasn't easy. That metal brought huge headaches the US didn't want to deal with. Welding giant titanium sections is incredibly tricky, requiring custom rooms filled with inert gas like argon to prevent the metal from becoming brittle. This made building and fixing the subs slow, super expensive, and just impractical for the massive fleet the US needed to maintain. The hull design also matters. Russian subs often use a double hull design, like a thermos bottle which adds extra toughness, more buoyancy, and better survivability. American subs conversely use a single hull design. While better for stealth and saving space, it sacrifices the secondary layer of structural protection that the Russian design offers. Ultimately, the depth difference came from completely different Cold War battle plans. The Soviets used depth and speed to counter their initial noise problem. The US bet on steel and persistent stealth. This focus proved practical, as even Russia's newest submarines like the Yasin class are ditching titanium and switching back to high-grade steel. That shows being quiet and reliable is what really matters in the deep.